Hello everyone. My name is Mike Harlow. I've been a member at Littleton for 24 years and this is my story. I have what's called idiopathic pulmonary hypertension. It's a very rare and terminal disease, no cure. The drugs are very potent. Uh, side effects are lots of pain for me. They have me on numerous narcotics to keep the pain down, but still I have very bad days at times. The years of being here and the growth I've experienced is just beyond measure, beyond measure. It's prepared me for this journey with my illness and facing life and death and those kind of things. So I'm just grateful and blessed that you've all been a part of my life. I have no idea what the future holds. And I wanted to ensure that while I was still alive and while I still had breath in my voice, that could ensure that you guys know what you really mean to me. Your children are a wonderful gift to me. I remember when Preston McGinnis was about two and a half and we were doing Coins for Christ. And it was that one Sunday morning that I see a lot of parents go through where they let that kid go and they do it on their own. And Scott let him go and he headed for the bucket dropped his money in, turns around, looks at Scott, and gives him a little smile, and up on stage he goes. And you see Scott, that look in his face, and it wasn't the look of a parent going, oh my word, what has my son done now? It was the look of, that, of a father going, hey, my son has done this by himself. This place has been truly a gift for me. I'm alive today because of this place. There is no doubt about it the drugs and alcohol in my life and a lot of other things, I would have never survived if God had not brought me here. I don't regret my children. They've given me so much more. My children now are grown. They create things. They comfort people with their hands. They teach children who are, as they say, on the outskirts, tough kids to teach. They have given me my granddaughter, Daisy, the light of my world. There are days when just, the tone, just speaking to that child gives me hope that things will change for me. Jennifer and Anthony Todd's daughter, Tessa, has been in our life group since we were, since she was born and Tessa's shy girl and doesn't talk to everybody readily. But we have conversations now and then as she's grown up. And I was in church a few months ago and Tessa comes walking up the aisle and she has this little piece of paper with a four-year-old scribbles on it. She hands it to me and she goes, I've been praying for you. And I went and found Anthony and Jennifer and I went, what's this about? I, you know, this is, ooh. And Jennifer said, they had been her and Tessa had been praying for me every day. And she said, Tessa finally understood what they were praying for. I've known Albert and Jen for a long time, and Caden coming into their life was a God thing. He had them in the right place at the right time to do that. And to see Caden change over the, the short little time that he has been with Albert and Jennifer is just such a blessing. Caden's my bud. He's my butt. You know, there may be, may be people in the audience today that are um, struggling with the same issues I did. Alcohol, drugs, lots of other things. And you may be wondering, what can this church do for me? What can a church do for me? Well, this place has become a place where it's okay to be a sinner. It's okay to hurt and it's okay to mourn and grieve and fail because there are people here that love you. And there are people here that put aside what, the baggage you carry through the door. They let you come and open up your suitcase and go, I'm sick. I'm a bad person. They let you open that suitcase. But the thing that they have is they have Christ and they have each other. 
And I've seen people fail and hurt each other and repent and mourn and fix those things. I've seen ministers and elders fail with decisions and be able to turn that around and change that. You know, and if, if they can do that for themselves, they can do that for you. This might hurt, it's not safe, but I know that I've got them.